Yo, what up everybody? We are live, it is 7 p.m. And we are here to talk about brand new video dropping this Friday. Second Friday in a row I'm dropping a new video. Can't wait to show this one to you guys. Um, but yeah, there's a new video coming out this Friday at 9 a.m. But I don't want to skim over it. I think it's important to uh, it's important to say I can see everybody joining. Hello, what's up? I hope everybody is having a wonderful Wednesday night. So before we talk about the new video that's dropping on Friday, I just want to say thank you. Massive shout out to everybody out there. White Trash just broke a million views. It only took, uh, what, like four or five days. So to everybody out there that watched White Trash, that shared it, that liked it, that commented, that messaged me and told me that they love it. Massive, massive thank you to everyone out there. Like I said, White Trash is at 1 million. That's incredible. I don't think we've broken a million on a video in four days before. So that just speaks to, uh, you know, the strength of the community that we're building. And um, and thank you guys so much. Um, so if you haven't seen White Trash, go check it out. It's over a million views. It's a uh, very, you know aggressive crazy song i'll put the link in the comments soon as we're done here but okay now that the thank yous are out of the way now that i show my appreciation i gotta turn my attention to the brand new video that's dropping this friday at 9 a.m um never done a video about this topic before uh never released a song about this topic before um, it's one of the most vulnerable songs and videos that I've ever done. Um, maybe even more so than Famous, more so than Castles, more so than I Wish. Really special song, really special video. Uh, you know, I hold this one super near my heart. So it's nerve wracking, super nerve wracking releasing music like this, but I'm very excited. Can't wait to give it to you guys. Um, and yeah, this Friday, 9am new video, as always, there's two ways that you can see it first. If you guys signed up to my, to the hangover gang newsletter, when we were releasing white trash last week, uh, you know that I accidentally sent out white trash to like 50,000 people a day before the video released, uh, which was a pretty anxiety ridden morning for me. Um, but hey man, those are the kind of things you get to, you get to get in on, you get to get on, get in on it early. If you join the mailing list, sometimes I screw up and I send out videos a full day early. So if you want to see, uh, this next video, First, you want to see it before anybody else. Uh, there's two ways to do it. You can either hang, uh, sign up for the Hangover Gang newsletter or you can subscribe to YouTube. I would like it if you subscribe to the newsletter. Like I said last time, uh, that's where I send all my promo codes, free MP3 downloads, uh, tour schedules, uh, video releases, etc. So I'll put a link in the comments. All you got to do is click the link. Put your email address in and I'll personally email you Friday morning with a link to the video. There'll also be like a little bit of background information on the video, a little letter that I write to my fans. Um, so that's really it. Brand new video this Friday, second Friday in a row. Very, very excited. Um, and then, yeah, I guess as always, staying true to form, uh, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. I will drop the artwork for the new video. Um, so if you feel like it, meet me here tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. I'll post the artwork. You'll see what the song is called. You'll kind of have an idea of what the song's about. Um, and we can all chop it up in the comments and talk about it. So tomorrow at 9 a.m., the artwork drops. Friday at 9 a.m., another video drops. You got to admit, I said it was going to be a quiet start to 2020, musically speaking. And it was. The first couple of weeks were quiet. But then last Friday, White Trash came out. This Friday, another video is dropping. 
I told you it was going to start quiet, but it was going to get loud and it was going to stay loud. So I'm going to keep that promise. I got a lot of stuff in the bank for you guys. A lot of stuff in the chamber. Been working my arse off, putting it all together for you. So, um, pretty sick mug, right? It's Novus. Um, but yeah, brand new video Friday, 9 a.m. Artwork drops tomorrow at 9 a.m. You can join the mailing list or subscribe to YouTube to see the video before anybody else. I'll put links to those things in the comments as soon as we're done here. All you gotta do is click the link, submit your uh, your email, and, um, and I'll email you the video link Friday morning. So now that I've taken care of that business, uh, let's get into some questions. Anybody has any questions or things that they've been wanting to know or... Any anything that you want to share with the group, speak your piece. I'm gonna cruise through the comments. I'm gonna I'm gonna answer as many questions as I can, as always. So here we go. We're hanging out. Okay, I'm just flipping through the comments here, and you guys should know that like, if you send a question in for me to answer. There's a little bit of a delay here between when you press enter and when it actually pops up on my screen, there's a little bit of, uh, of a delay. So um, I'll do my best to answer as many as possible. If I don't get to yours right away, just hang in there. It's definitely coming. Oh man, I forgot to say, I just sent out another uh, shipment of autographed albums and stuff. Um, I don't actually have them in here with me, but I just got a new shipment of the Make America Hate Again, the red ski masks from the White Trash video or from the Everybody Hates Me video, wherever you saw it. Uh, I just got a new, uh, a whole new shipment. I got a hundred of them. So I got a hundred uh, of the Maha red ski masks. If you want one, www.hangovergang.com. Like I said, there's a hundred of them. They're probably gonna disappear pretty quick. So if you want one of the red ski masks, now would be the time. I think I might actually have one just like sitting right here. Yeah, there you go. So I got the green ones with the hangover gang and I got the black ones with the hangover gang, but I just got a brand new shipment of these bad boys. I got a hundred of them. I'm autographing all of them. So if you want an autographed uh, Maha ski mask, www.hangovergang.com. You can also get your autographed albums and stuff from there. I just got a brand new shipment of death threats and another shipment of ghost stories today. So I have a thousand autographed copies of death threats and a thousand autographed copies of ghost stories and a hundred red ski masks. So if you want any of that stuff or you want t-shirts, sweatpants, one of the jackets, whatever, www.hangovergang.com. Boom. Now that that's done and I didn't forget to promo the merch, who would have thought I'm going to uh, jump in the comments here and uh, answer some questions. Okay. Oh, just so you Sometimes the network connection is going to be a little bit shoddy because anytime that I go through the comments to scroll and find your questions, uh, it'll like break up a little bit, but the live stream is not ending. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. It might just cut in and out while I'm scrolling through the comments. So let's rock. Uh, Jessica Lynn Spears says, have you got to listen to any of Eminem's new music? What is your reaction to it? Um, no, I haven't heard, uh, any of Eminem's new album. Uh, well, that's a lie. I did hear the single that he put out that darkness single, uh, with the video and stuff that he dropped at like midnight the other day. Like, I don't know. Here's, here's the thing. Okay. As far as Eminem goes, love Eminem. Always loved Eminem. Always gonna love Eminem. Not a big fan of the new stuff. Uh, was a massive, massive fan of his old stuff. Low key, like, he's one of the big reasons why I started rapping. Um, so, I love M. I'm not a big fan of the new stuff. It's just what it is. And I know some people aren't going to like that, but it just like what it's just is what it is, man. Personally, I don't like the new stuff. When I, when he dropped that single Darkness the other day and it was about the whole Las Vegas shooting and like the video was really crazy and shit. 
halfway through that video, I was just like, oh my God, is like, is this going to be like some sort of like anti-gun like campaign thing? Um, and it was, which is fine. Like if that's what he believes in these days, that's totally fine. But it just seemed to me like it's just weird for me to see Eminem go from like counterculture to like part of like a corporate machine. That's just really weird to me. I don't hate his new stuff. I, I, I appreciate his new stuff. He's still talented. Obviously, he's still skillful. I like his old music better. And like I said, it's just very strange for me to see Eminem go from like this counterculture icon to like being part of this corporate America movement. It's just very strange. Though so that, that's as concisely as I can put it. Um, Candace Horn says, I'm getting married on Friday, so marriage and a new Tom song. What could be any better? Uh, thank you so much, Candace. Congratulations on getting mar married. I, I hope that all goes amazingly for you and your husband. Clinton Dowlin says, thoughts on the new metal scene, both new and old, and their comp contribution to the rap scene. Um... <clears throat> I don't know if I'm super familiar with a lot of new metal or really their contribution to the rap scene. I guess like a lot of people have sampled new metal to make like hip hop beats and stuff, which is amazing. I think like is Linkin Park like new metal because Linkin Park was, you know, was kind of new metal -y and hip hop. And they did that whole project with Jay-Z and stuff like that. But there's not too many other like standout albums that I really remember meshing those two genres together. But Linkin Park was dope. I was always more of a Limp Biscuit guy. Is Limp Biscuit new metal? Because I, I messed with Limp Biscuit heavy, dude. I owned all the Limp Biscuit albums. Um, I still love them and I still listen to them. So, so yeah. I mean, as far as the contribution goes, that was my experience with it and I loved it. So, uh, Jonathan Chandler says, What are some rap exercises you do to improve yourself? Where did you begin? Uh, man, I began making awful music, just like, you know, I'll, when you start riding a bike, you're not great at it. When you start drawing, you're not great at it. When you start rapping or driving or whatever it is, you're never great at it right from the jump. Um, I started making subpar music, just like a lot of people. Uh, but I don't know if there's any, it's not really about doing like rap exercises, uh, to improve yourself. Let me get a little more comfortable. It's more about just like being consistent and writing as often and as much as you can. And the more you do something, the more repetition you can do, the better you get, the more you'll improve, etc. So I would just say pick a wide variety of tempos and a wide variety of styles of beats and just write different types of songs at different speeds and different vibes and just write as many different types of music as you possibly can uh, and play around with some other genres and just experiment. Experiment and uh, uh, experiments and repetition is, is the best way to get better, I'd say. Um, Trisha Marie Collins says, when are you uh, releasing your tour dates? I will be dropping the tour dates very, very soon. Low key, the tour dates were already supposed to be out, but I was just like, yo, let's press pause on it for a quick minute. I wanna get this next video out, and then as soon as this video's out, let's announce the tour dates. So Friday is video release day, and then we'll probably announce tour dates uh, shortly after that. I'm thinking like Monday or Tuesday. So there you go. Robert Sherman says, what's the hardest part in making a song? Uh, it depends what song it is. Um, it's always different. There's always different, you know, difficulties for, for each song. Sometimes it's like just being really careful about what you're saying and how you're saying it, especially when you're talking about these quote unquote, like controversial topics, because, um, it's really hard to be clear and be concise with your message while also rhyming everything and making it a palatable song. 
Uh, so finding the balance between saying what you want to say, exactly how you want to say it, and making a listenable, good song, finding that balance is very difficult sometimes. So um, that's what I'd say. Uh, Robin Folden says, what's up with the nose ring? It's been missing lately. I didn't even take it out. It like fell out when I was sleeping or it like fell out on a music video shoot or something. And I just haven't put it back in yet. But thank you for reminding me. I miss it and I'm going to get a new one tomorrow. Thank you very much. Um, Matthew Wolves says, how do you and Nova manage time between editing and filming? Because that must be super crazy. Uh, yeah, it's extremely difficult, but we work like 18 hour days. So I don't know if it's as much about managing our time as it is to just use, we just use every bit of time that we have, like every waking moment of the day, we're working on something. So I guess it has less to do with like uh, time management and more to do with just like utilizing every single second that's available to us. So we work extremely hard. Um, like I said, 18 hour days. Uh, and that's it. Uh, Tony Savarino says, what do you think of the new Eminem track, Godzilla? Haven't heard it. Uh, we just talked about Eminem. So I guess I'll just skip on from that. I will give it a listen, though. Um, Jacqueline McDonald says, what means the most to you in the entire world? Uh, geez, that's a tough one. There's a lot of things that mean a lot to me. Uh, you guys mean the friggin' world to me. Like I always say, um, you know, you're not my fans, you're my friends and you're my family. Uh, I love you guys so much. You truly like mean the world and more to me. Um, so it's a toss up, man. You guys mean the world to me. My family, my mom, my dad, my sister, my grandma, uh, my family means the world to me. My Nova means the world to me. My dogs mean the world to me. Uh, maintaining my integrity in the music and keep and putting out quality uh, videos and songs mean the world to me. A lot of things uh, mean the most to me. I don't think I could pick just any one thing. Um, okay, so I'll just circle back one time. I'll be quick about it. I got a brand new video. If you're just just showing up now, hello, welcome to the live stream. I have a brand new video dropping this Friday at 9 a.m. It is probably the most vulnerable, uh, honest, heartfelt song that I've wrote in a long, long time. I'm beyond nervous to put this one out into the world. I'm also super excited because I know it's going to help people and uh, I get to show a, a, a piece of my puzzle that I haven't put out into the world before. So brand new video this Friday. It's a special one. Tomorrow at 9 a.m. I'm going to drop the artwork for that video. So if you want to know what the song's called and you want to just be able to talk with me and everybody else about what the song's about. Meet me here tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. when I drop the artwork. And as always, there are two ways to see the brand new video first. You can either A, join the Hangover Gang newsletter, or B, subscribe to my YouTube. I really want to break a million subs this year, so YouTube will give us that one million plaque. As you can see, that silver thing on the wall back there is the silver plaque for 100,000 subscribers. Really want the million one. It's gold, and I'm going to put it up right, right above that thing. So subscribe to my YouTube uh, or join the Hangover Gang newsletter. That's where I send all my tour announcements, early video releases, MP3 downloads, promo codes, etc., etc. I put the links to all that in the comments. Just click it, enter your email, click submit. I write the email, and I send it out on Friday morning. So that's that. Um, a lot of people have been asking me when I'm going to get these ski masks back in stock, especially since White Trash just dropped and I was rocking one in right White Trash. Uh, I just got the brand new box of these bad boys today. I have a hundred of them. Every single one is autographed. So if you want a red ski mask, 
or an autographed album or whatever, www.hangovergang.com. I'll put that link in the comments as well. There's only a hundred of them. I'm signing them all. I'm guessing they're probably going to disappear in the next day or two. So you want, you might want to move quick on that. Um, And with that being said, let's jump back into the comments. I'll take some more questions. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, just fire them out. I'll do my best to answer as many as possible. Cody Mercer says, Tom, I have a question. What are the top three moments from your tour or from this past year? Uh, top three moments. Jeez. Uh... From the past year, getting to go on tour, uh, going, getting to go on tour is always special for me. Uh, last year, I got to bring my dad with me, um, which was very, 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 very cool. Um, me and my dad have done some really like awesome stuff together over the years. Been mountain climbing and like went to a WrestleMania and did some traveling. Me and my dad have done cool stuff together for as long as I can remember. So, and you know, as a kid, it's always your dad taking you places. My dad took me to WrestleMania and my, my dad took me mountain climbing and stuff like that. But now that I'm a little bit older, I have the opportunity to take him some places and I had the opportunity to take my dad on tour with me, which was like the coolest thing ever because I bring Nova with me it's my girlfriend. I bring my best friend Brandon with me and he opens up. So to be able to go on tour with your girlfriend and your best friend is a total blessing. But to be able to add your dad into that mix and go on tour with your dad, your girlfriend and your best friend to go tour the country and play music for people. What a cool thing to be able to do, you know. So that was probably my top moment of last year. I guess my other top moments would probably be releasing Ghost Stories, which I think is like my best album that I've ever put out. Uh, and probably just one of the video releases that uh, did extremely well. Um, Carl Zeller says, can you shout out my two little girls, Lotus and Karma? What's up, Lotus and Karma? Your dad, Carl, is a super cool guy. If you're sitting there watching this live stream, I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Don't repeat any of the bad language. I hope I get to see you guys on tour this year. Big love to the whole family. Um, okay. Robbie Bake Oven says, out of every single song you've made, what is your favorite song? People ask me that all the time. I don't have a favorite song of my own. I'm, you know, like, I don't know. I don't listen to my music like that. I listen to other people's music looking for a favorite song. I don't listen to my own music like that. Uh, and the other thing is, it's just like, I'm totally biased. Every time I write a song, because it's new and because I just created it, that's my favorite because I just did it. And I try to, with every song, do something different or do something better than I've ever done it before. Whether that's like the speed or the flow or the subject matter or the cadence, whatever. I'm always trying to do something different or better than I've ever done it before. So every time I make something, in my mind, there's something different about it or something better about it. So whatever I've most recently created is always my favorite. So that's... Is that's a tough question to answer. Mike Johnson says a video idea for buttholes. Yo, okay, so I don't know if you guys have seen the video for buttholes, but I'm wearing like a pink suit and I'm in this big mansion with like a unicorn that's got pink hair and I've got the pink ski mask and I'm at a tea party and I'm on a rooftop and I dressed up in all these different costumes. I was like a pregnant lady in a, in a, uh, a supermarket and I was a priest and I was dressed up as the Illuminati and uh, I was like a Canadian guy in a Speedo and I was a lot of different things. 
Um, so yeah, buttholes. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Tom McDonald buttholes. It's on YouTube. Uh, the funny thing about the buttholes video is we had a completely different video for buttholes. It was going to be like this talent show and like a school gymnasium. And there's going to be like all these kids performing like spinning plates and streamers and doing magic and stuff. And I was going to be sitting there waiting. Sorry, I keep getting phone calls. And I was going to be sitting there waiting for my chance to go on stage. And I was going to be uh, just like freaking out and super nervous and just like, oh, like scared to get on the stage and do the talent show thing. And then one of the kids was going to come over who just finished his performance and he was going to put his hand on my shoulder and just be like, hey, like everything's going to be OK. You're going to do great. Just picture everybody naked. And then I was going to walk onto stage and look out at the audience and everybody was going to be in their underwear and then buttholes was going to start. I was going to say, hi, my name's Tom McDonald and I'm here to perform a song for you. I was going to perform the song at the talent show and then all these different characters were going to be in the audience and everybody was going to be dancing. It's going to be this big thing. And then uh, I had the idea for the song literally the day before we were supposed to shoot that video. I was sitting in this pizza shop and uh, I was eating a slice of pizza with my girlfriend. This black dude rolled into the into the into the pizza shop and he had this really he had like sun bleached dreads and they were like really sick. And he had, he had the front two dreads tied around the back of his head to keep all the other dreads out of his face. And I was eating my pizza and I saw him walk in and his hair was just like so dope. I said to Nova, if I was black, that's definitely how I do my hair. I love that. And then it just hit me. I was like, oh shit, if I was black, I do my hair like that. How else would I feel if I was black? How, what else would I think about if I was black? And then that just spiraled into this song idea. I wrote this song and then I said, cancel the butthole shoot. We're shooting this other video. And then we shot that video instead, released that. And then uh, I didn't want to do the talent show thing anymore because it just wasn't in the moment. And then we just randomly put together all the colorful stuff for buttholes. And it was just like, fly by the seat of our pants, just totally on a whim. And uh, that's how the buttholes video came came about. That's the long story. That's the behind the scenes, true story of the buttholes video. So there you go. Uh, Riley Hamilton says, did you have fun making a song with Mad Child? Totally, I had a blast making a song with Mad Child. If you don't know, that guy is like a Canadian legend. He was in one of the biggest, or he was in the biggest Canadian rap group of all time called Swollen Members. Uh, super rad making music with them. We had a blast. That's like the other like funny thing about the White Trash video is people thought like, Oh, this is like the first song of yours I don't like because it's just like I don't I didn't I don't like Trump, so I don't like this song. And it was just like, yo, like I I didn't say in that song I'm a Trump supporter. You know what I mean? I didn't say that. I'm not pro Trump, I'm not anti Trump. I don't care about Donald Trump. That song is not about being pro or anti anything. That song is about being sympathetic and showing understanding to a group of voters who are rarely shown either of those things. It's just like in 2020, everybody's like, oh, you voted for Trump, you're a racist. You're a racist because you voted for Trump. Or you're, you're a racist because you're pro-Trump. And I'm just like, yo, I've traveled the country numerous times. I've met tons of these people. I've done shows for them. I've hung out with them. These people like did not vote for Trump because he's a racist. They're not supporting racism. Trump's the guy who stood up and said, look, I can put food on your table. I can put jobs in your communities. I can help the, the lower middle class uh, have a better quality of life. That's why people are voting for who they're voting for. It's for their families. It's to improve their quality of life. So, and I'm just tired of like, whether I support the man or not, I'm tired of that group of people just getting crucified constantly um, for making choices to make their families' lives better. You know what I mean? 
So that's what that whole song was about. It, it, it wasn't about me pledging allegiance to Donald Trump because I don't give a fuck about Donald Trump. Like, like I've told you guys before, you know, I don't care if you're fucking Donald Trump or George Bush or Bill Clinton or Obama. I don't care if you're the prime minister or the president or the master of the motherfucking universe. If you're a politician, if you're in politics, I don't fuck with you, period. I don't care how cool you claim you're going to make my life. I don't fuck with politicians, period. They're all dirtbags. So that's where I'm at with the whole thing. You guys already know that. Um, but yeah, that part. Okay, so I'll just jump back in here. Uh, Blythe Miller says that mug is awesome. Um, I'm not sure where I got this mug. Uh, either Nova got it or my parents might have got it for us. It's a stack of pancakes. Ding. I think my parents might have got it for me in Nova. I think I just saw the feed get interrupted again. Like I said, uh, my internet connection is kind of shitty sometimes. So when I scroll through the comments to get to your questions, sometimes there's a network interruption. I'm not going anywhere. The live stream's not ending. I'm going to be here answering questions until... Um, I just looked at my hair tie like it was a watch. Like I was going to give you a time that I was answering questions till. Uh, this is a hair tie. It doesn't tell time. So I'll be here uh, for a while answering questions. So if the feed gets interrupted, don't trip. You don't have to leave. I'm here. Um, okay, so I'll get into some more questions here in two seconds. I just got to uh, 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 roll back one time and just say, if you just joined, brand new video drops this Friday at 9 a.m., super personal record. Can't wait to give it to you guys. The artwork for the song drops tomorrow. So if you feel like meeting me here at 9 a.m., I'll drop the artwork. You can see what the song's called and know what it's potentially going to be about. So there's that. There are two ways to see the video first. As always, you can join the Hangover Gang newsletter or you can subscribe to YouTube. If you only want to do one, I'd like you to uh, sign up to the newsletter. If you'd be so kind to do them both, that'd be great. If we get to a million subs, we get the gold plaque from YouTube. We're at like 716,000 subs. So we don't really have that far to go. Just over 250K. So, uh, yeah. So subscribe to YouTube. If you join the, the Hangover Gang newsletter, I will send you the email personally on Friday morning. You'll get to see the video before anybody else, which is pretty cool. So I'll put the links to all those things in the comments. All you got to do is click the link, enter your email, and uh, uh, I can hear Nova yelling at the dogs. I don't know if you guys can hear him barking, but all you got to do is enter your email and it'll automatically sign you up. I'll send the email Friday morning. Boom. Um, oh, yeah. The red ski masks from the white trash video, since we were just talking about that. Just got a brand new box of them. I got a hundred autographed every single one of them. Uh, you can go on the website and, um, Hey, uh, I just had an idea. Hey, Nova. Sorry. I'll just talk about red ski masks. I just remember something. Nova. Ugh, I think she's outside. Okay. So the ski masks. Yo, you got to make the ski mask available on the website because they're sold out and I forgot to do that. Should I do it right now? Yeah, do it right now. Um, so there you go. I just remembered. Good thing we did this live stream. 100 ski masks autographed in stock. Uh, they say sold out on the website and I forgot to make them unsold out. So if you go there as soon as this live stream's done, they will be in stock and you'll be able to get one. Autographed albums and all that stuff are there as well. www.hangovergang.com. That was so great. Isn't Nova great? Just runs in here and she's going to go fix the website for me. That's great. Um, okay. I'm going through your questions. Charity Nicole says, did you get any blowback when you did that Eminem song? I think you're talking about the Eminem remix that I did to The Way I Am. Uh, no, not really. I think I did a damn good job on that song, if I do say so myself. Eminem's got some pretty big boots to fill, but I think I did that song justice. I think uh, I really killed that. So 
no, there wasn't too much blowback. I think people were just really surprised that somebody uh, could tackle that beat and do it justice. So it was all love. Okay, flipping through the comments, looking for some questions. I see a lot of people, uh, you know, that aren't asking questions that are just saying that they love the music or that the music helped them or, uh, you know, other kind comments. So I just want to say to everybody, I, I, I am seeing your comments and I feel terrible just scrolling past them. Uh, looking for questions, but unfortunately that's the name of the game. But I just want to say to everybody out there that's saying that they love the music or that I helped them in some way, shape or form. Uh, I love you guys too, man. Um, if the music helps, that's great. That's literally what it's here for. Uh, I make it to help me. And if listening to it helps you, uh, I don't think there's any other um, better reward in the world than that. So um, I'm glad the music's helping. That's what it's here for. Use it. I love you guys. Thank you. Charity Nicole says, are you planning any merch for the new year? Definitely planning some new merch. As you guys know, like uh, we do everything ourselves from shooting the videos to editing the videos to conceptualizing the videos to conceptualizing the songs, to writing the songs, to making the beats, to producing. Uh, that We design all the merch. We do all the releases ourselves. We distribute our music ourselves. So it's literally like a two-man operation. It's me and Nova. So me and Nova just did, <clears throat> pardon me, a bunch of new designs. I think there's 50, 50 new products on the website. There was like mugs and blankets and uh, jackets and tracksuits and sweatpants and uh, ski masks and albums, all types of different stuff. So we just did 50 new products, which took us weeks to design and weeks to, you know, figure it all out and get it on the net. Um, <clears throat> so we'll definitely do uh, new merch for the new year. But uh, we just dropped like 50 things. So we're just going to ride with that for a minute. But there is new merch coming soon hangovergang.com. There you go. Uh, 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 uh. A lot of people asking if I'll be in New Jersey, if I'll be in Detroit, uh, where I'm going to be. Um, Tour announces next week, I promise 100%. So I can't tell you right now where I'm going to be and where I'm not going to be. But there's 50 dates on the tour and there's not many more states than that in America. So I will definitely see everybody somewhere. Nick St. John says, where did you get the police car for politically incorrect? That's a good question. Nobody's ever asked me that before. Uh, I got a funny story about it too. We just rented that police car from somebody that had one. Um, but shit, dude. Okay. So we rented the cop car for Politically Incorrect. And they uh, they send a person with the cop car. You know, they got to drive the car and drop the car off and blah, 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 blah. So they drive it in, park it in the warehouse. And the person that drove it's like sitting there in a chair on set of the music video and uh i like go over to nova and i'm like yo so is that person gonna be okay if i like climb on the roof of this car um and nova's like yeah i don't i don't know like we didn't tell them that we're gonna be standing on the car and i'm like fuck like I really don't want to jump on this car like in front of the person that just dropped it off for us without telling them. And Nova's like, well, I don't know. If you tell her that you're going to get on top of that car, she's probably not going to let you do it. So I was like, okay, fuck it. Just hit record. I'm going to jump up on top of that car and just see how it goes. So I jump up on top of that cop car. And I get jumping around and I'm performing the song <clears throat> Politically Incorrect and just dented the unholy hell out of the roof on that thing. 
like the roof was like this when I was done. Like there was a giant dent in the roof of that cop car. Um, it looked gnarly. So I had to get my homies to get inside the car, put their back on the back seat and start kicking their feet up against the roof to try and pop the dent out. And even when we popped the dent out, like the big dent came out, but the top of the roof was like all like wavy, wavy and wrinkly. Like it looked like wrinkled, uh, um, aluminum foil or something. And I was like, Oh fuck. Like this is going to be so bad. Like we cannot afford to replace the roof of a cop car. Like fuck. Um, <clears throat> so then whatever. So the girl never even said anything about it. The shoot finished up. She jumped in the car, drove it, drove it, drove it off to wherever it came from. And then like three days later, I get a call from the guy who owned the cop car and he was like, Hey, yeah, it's so-and-so with the cop car. Like, I just noticed that there's like a bunch of dents in the roof and uh, I just wanted to know what happened. And I was like, oh yeah, like I was rapping on top of it, but I didn't see any dents there. And I was like, oh, but my neighbor has a dent puller, which he doesn't. My neighbor didn't have a dent puller, but I just felt like if we told him that we could remove the dents ourselves, that he might not try and charge me to remove it himself. So I was just like, yeah, like my neighbor's got a dent remover. Like I can bring it over and pull the dents out for you. And he was like, okay, I'll call you back. And that was a year and a half ago. And I never heard, I still haven't heard from him. So I guess the, I guess my plan worked. So there you go. That's the long and the short of the cop car in uh, politically incorrect. Haley Wheeler says, how old were you when you got your first tattoo? I was 16. I've showed it off before. It's this really terrible script up my forearm. It's not terrible. He actually did a really nice job of it, but it says passion and that's just like the lamest shit ever. But I was 16, so it is what it is. Um... Brandon Terry says, what are your thoughts on all the gun truck controversy? Is that a possible song? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I heard there was something going on in Virginia or something, but um, I keep hearing about it, but I haven't done my research, so I'm not exactly sure, like, what is going on um, in Virginia with the guns, but I'm, I'm a pro-gun guy. I think that everybody should have guns. Uh, I think that's an amazing uh, privilege that people have uh, in America. And I think that anything and everything should be done to uphold that amendment and, uh, and keep that a thing for forever. So that's it. Nick Bayer says, if you could be alive during any other time period, what would it be? Um, Jesus, literally right underneath that Ricky Bones said, can you drink your drink without slurping? And I'm pretty sure I just slurped my fucking drink. That's how we roll over here, baby. Um, if I could be alive during any other time period, what would it be? Definitely 1 billion percent late sixties, early seventies with the long hair and the bell bottoms and Led Zeppelin and the totally righteous movements that were going on all across North America, that would definitely be it. Late 60s, early 70s. Albert Akira Jr., <clears throat> pardon me, Albert Akira Jr. says, how long does it take to make a video of yours? Thanks, bro, love the CDs I just received. Hey, glad the, the CDs got there safe, glad you're enjoying them. Uh, how long does it take to make a video of mine? It really depends. We, we do most of our videos in like one day. Sometimes it takes like two or three days, uh, depending on how big the shoot is, how many setups there are. But like a lot of people don't realize that like, I don't plan ahead on a lot of stuff. I'm very like spur of the moment and just like do what I feel is right in the moment. Um, so a lot of times I'm just like, Nova, we need a video and we need it now. And it's like Monday and it needs to come out Friday. 
So a lot of the times I'll literally record the song, uh, book the music video locations, uh, send the song to get mixed and mastered, shoot the video to the rough version of the song that I just recorded that same day, uh, get the master back, edit it in one or two days tops and release it. So it usually takes about a day or two to shoot and a day or two to edit. And a lot of the times we do, we shoot it, we record a song, shoot a video and release it all in the same week. Like it sounds crazy, pardon me, but we work fast and we work hard. So that's the way I like to do it. Michelle Baguette says, uh, why do you bleep all the cuss, cuss words in most of your music videos? Uh, unfortunately, to adhere with uh, YouTube's ad policy, I have to censor the songs on YouTube if I want to run ads and make very little money off of <laughs> people watching them. So I censor the YouTube versions. The explicit versions are on my albums. The explicit versions are also on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Google Play, Tidal, Pandora, Amazon, etc. So if you get an album, if you get one of my autographed albums or you get the music from some sort of digital outlet, uh, the music is explicit everywhere except for YouTube. So there you go. Kayla Johnson says, what's your take on spirits and the paranormal? Uh, my take on it, definitely believe in ghosts. I love that stuff. I believe in ghosts. I believe in spirits. I believe in like the shadow people and a lot of different types of the paranormal stuff, hauntings and demons and all that shit. I'm into it. I believe in it. Um, I've had some super strange experiences in my life. Uh, Nova's had some super strange experiences in her life. We, uh, tell each other the stories all the time. Um, so I believe in all of it. I will definitely, I'll do a live stream with Nova sometime in like the next few weeks where we'll like literally just sit down and tell you guys ghost stories. Uh, I think that'd be fun. So maybe we'll do that. <laughs> Uh, Mika Reed says, how do you deal with the hardships of life? Look, I tried to not slurp at that time and I slurped it. Okay. The cup is shaped like a stack of motherfucking pancakes. Do you know how hard it is to drink out of this thing? This is just like a novelty gift. It's not like it shouldn't be a functional cup. There's no place for your lips to sit. There's a, there's like a groove on the inside here. Like it's just it's just a terribly designed mug. You know, I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a slurper. It's just a terrible terrible design. Um uh the hardships of life and stuff. Um I mean, I don't know. We all have different hardships. We all have different obstacles. We all have different struggles. My hardships are mental health and uh, biting off too much more than I can chew and working way too hard, exhausting myself, overwhelming myself. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. It's just like, it's hard to say, how do you deal, how to deal with your hardships if I don't know what your hardships are. And even if I did, if I haven't personally dealt with them myself, it's still a difficult question to answer. I guess like the best, most general answer I can, I can give on that is just like, you just got to, you know, I've said it a million times, tough times don't last, tough people do. So, you know, I think that we as people, we have this obsession of just like winning the battle or winning the struggle or winning the argument or w winning the uh, uh, whatever against whatever the hardship is. And like, if there's one thing that I've learned in my life, it's not all about winning. You don't have to win the argument. You don't have to win the war. You don't have to win the struggle. You don't have to win the battle. You don't have to win. Your only job when you're dealing with hardships is to survive. That's it. Because like winning doesn't mean anything. If you survive, you can live to fight another day. 
And some of these battles cannot be won, ever. There's never going to be a winner. It's a lifelong fight. You're going to be swinging away until you're a million years old. So um, that's really that's really it. It's just like, it's not about winning. It's about being strong. It's about hanging in there. It's about being resilient. And it's about surviving. And it's about living to fight another day. So that's all I could really say about that. Um, uh, J. Michael Williams says How do you think your music will evolve As time goes on um, I'm not really sure I really pride myself in my consistency And uh, uh, Keeping a stranglehold On my moral character And um, Staying grounded And being humble And being approachable And being down to earth And just being genuine so uh, I'm not sure how things are going to change. I feel like I'm being really genuine and authentic in my music right now. So as long as the changes and the evolution are authentic and real and genuine, uh, I'll be fine with that. But I just, I really pride myself on being consistent. So, you know, I've watched so many people change over the, you know, over the course of their careers because of money or fame or... Um, outside influence or whatever. Uh, and I'm, you know, don't ever want to do that. So my main focus is on remaining consistent and true to who I am, not focusing on what's going to change, how it's going to change and why it's going to change. I just want things to stay the same right now. Um, there's always going to be in a time and the place for growth and evolution, but it's not my place to say what form that's going to take. So we'll just let it ride, baby. Um, okay, I'm just looking at the comments here. Uh, 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 uh. I guess I'll just circle back one more time. Uh, I'll take some more questions in about 30 seconds, but if you just joined, uh, my name's Tom McDonald, and I'm a rapper, and I'm releasing a new video on Friday. Um, this Friday, 9 a.m., my brand new video comes out, second Friday in a row. Like I said, 2020 was a quiet start, but it's about to get loud and stay loud. So, brand new video this Friday, 9 a.m., I'm dropping the artwork tomorrow at 9 a.m. So if you so choose, you can meet me here tomorrow at 9 a.m. I'll drop the artwork. You'll see what the song's called. You'll have an idea what the song's gonna be about. And we can all talk about it in the comments section. Uh, if you really wanna see the, the music video before anybody else, you wanna be the first to see it, you can comment first on it on YouTube as people for some reason love to do. Uh, there's two ways you can see the video before anybody else. You can either A, join the Hangover Gang newsletter, or B, subscribe to YouTube. i really appreciate it if you did both. I'm trying to break a million subscribers on YouTube. Uh, but the Hangover Gang newsletter is kind of what I'd encourage you to do. That's where I send all of my tour dates, free MP3 downloads, promo codes, uh, early access to music videos, etc., 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 all you got to do is enter your email, hit enter, and it'll sign you up for the newsletter. And I will personally email you Friday morning with the link to the video. So I'll put links to those things in the comments. Uh, so when you see my comment pop up after this is done, give it a like. It'll push it to the top of the feed and it'll make it easier for other people to, 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 find, my, to find the link. So thank you. Um, I just got a fresh shipment of 100 Maha ski masks from everybody hates me and the white trash video if you want one every single one is autographed There's only a hundred of them. I also autograph all of my albums. There's two albums uh, So if you want an autographed album or a ski mask or a piece of memorabilia from a music video or a jean jacket sweatsuit t-shirt, whatever www.hangovergang.com I'll also put that link in the comments new video Friday but um, let's do some more questions real quick. Maria Martinez says, is there, is there any specific type of music you don't listen to or care for? 
Um, no, not really. I love all music. I really do. Um, yeah, I just really do. I like country. I like rock. I like rap. I like uh, electronic stuff. I like classic rock. I like metal. Did I say country? I like country. I like pop. Yeah, I think I like all genres. Like, I don't listen to a lot of jazz or classical and stuff like that, but I've definitely heard it, and I didn't hate it, so. Uh, 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 uh. Somebody asked, who do I think won? Machine Gun Kelly. Oh, man, are we still on the Machine Gun Kelly versus Eminem thing? This late in the game, we're still talking about Machine Gun Kelly versus Eminem. Ugh, who do I think won? Um, man, you're putting me on the spot, too, because anytime you say... They, anybody that says, I think MGK won, just gets fucking flamed on the internet. Fuck it, I don't care. I thought MGK won, man. I don't even, you know, I don't even give a fuck. I think he won. I think Eminem is a way fucking better artist and he has a way more incredible legacy and Eminem's catalog puts Machine Gun Ke Kelly's catalog to fucking shame every day of the week and twice on Sunday. Eminem is a superior artist by far but I don't know man I thought Kelly took it like I don't know I don't know he said some pretty dirty bars in that man like that was pretty wild Ashley Cavillo says, do you, do you feel like it's harder for you now as a rapper than it would have been 15 years ago? Uh, I mean, there's ups and downs. Like 15 years ago, you didn't have the option of going on the internet and exposing your music to mass amounts of people all at once, uh, which we have the luxury to do now, which is great. Um, so that's one of the reasons why it's easier today. Uh, it's also harder today because, um, every fucking Tom, Dick and Harry thinks they're a rapper. Everybody is a rapper these days. The, we have the opportunity to reach a lot more people in a shorter period of time, but it's just like there's seven, uh, there's 70 billion rappers all trying to get the same people's attention. Uh, so it's like the genre is really watered down and not taken as seriously anymore. So that, that's, that's difficult. Um, but yeah, there's ups and downs of both time periods. So, uh, 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 Mikey, uh, uh, GKB says, is your motivation politically motivated, media motivated, or just from your heart? Um, I mean, I think that's pretty clear. I don't really fuck with politics. I don't really fuck with the media. I don't do like tons of interviews. I don't do reality shows. I don't do like any of the corny stuff that would go along with uh, what it would be like if I was politically motivated or motivated by the media. Like, I'm just doing what I want, man. You know what I mean? That's why I make so many people angry with my music. Because, like, I'm not, I'm not playing it safe. I'm not staying in a lane. I'm not coloring within the lines. I'm doing whatever I want to do, whenever I want to do it, however I want to do it, as often as possible, forever. Fuck your feelings. I don't care. I'm doing what I want to do because it's in my heart, because it's in my soul, because it's what I enjoy doing, and because it helps other people. That's really it. You know what I mean? Um, it's crazy. A lot of people say that they do what they do because it helps other people, but the majority of the time, helping other people is just a tagline. It's a selling point. I really do this to help myself. I discovered through helping myself, I can help other people. And that ended up being the most purest form of gratification I ever got in my life. So, you know, 
I never set out to, to, to save the world or change the world or anything. It just kind of happened along the way from me doing exactly what I wanted to do. So that's really it. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, a lot of people are saying there's lots of lo little orbs and stuff floating around in here. I don't know if they are orbs. I think uh, I haven't I haven't swept in this room in three weeks, and I I think it's just a dusty ass room. Really, I think it's really dusty in here. Either that, or there's like an entire nation of teeny little ghosts crammed into this one bedroom in my house. I truly hope that's not the case. Um, okay. So I keep seeing Nova, uh, is texting me and it's popping up the top of my screen. She's texting me three times saying the dinner's ready. Uh, I would like to hang out with you guys for a little longer. I know it's only been an hour and we've really been doing like an hour and a half lately. So I promise on the next live stream, maybe next week, same place, same time. How's that sound? Next week, same place, same time, another live stream. I'll stay for longer next week. I will get through as many questions as I can once again next week. Um, but for tonight, I think that's all she wrote. I just want to leave you guys with brand new video drops this Friday at 9 a.m. I'm dropping the artwork tomorrow at 9 a.m. So meet me here if you want to see it. Uh, there's two ways to see the video first. The mailing list and the YouTube. I'll put those in the comments. I got a hundred signed ski mask. I got two new shipments of autographed albums. And the hundred ski masks all autographed. Hangovergang.com But uh, man... Buckle up. The video this Friday is a really special one, man. Uh, I literally cried when I was writing this song. It's like that. So, whew. It's a little nerve-wracking to put this one out, but I'm excited to show it to you guys just as I'm always excited. Um, white Trash at 1 million. Thank you, everybody out there who watched that. That was massive. Uh, if you haven't seen White Trash, check it out. It... Uh, is making the uh and making the internet very very angry is kind of my thing so that's not what we're doing this friday though this friday we're doing uh something really special so i hope it helps i love you guys from the bottom of my heart uh nova made me dinner and i gotta go eat it before it gets cold or she might kill me in my sleep so cross your fingers i will see you right here tomorrow morning at 9 a.m i will bring the artwork for the new video Bring your eyes and ears and let's talk about it in the comments. It's Hangover Gang forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. I love you guys tons and tons and tons. You saved my life. I hope that I can even just save one of yours and that makes this all worth it. HOG forever and a day. I love you guys. Good night.